and all your chorbots. <laughs> oh, yes, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I can't contain it. <laughs> okay, so I had the Flip Minnow HD second gen, and that nosed up. I had the Toshiba S20, and that nosed up as well. Why did I get these cameras? Because there was a sort of little hole in my camera family. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I gave my ZI8 to my brother because he needed a camera with an external mic so that he could do some specific type videos that he's doing. Um, and he lives in Devon, so I can't get hold of the ZI8 again. And ever since giving that away, I've sort of felt like there's been a sort of external mic type hole in my camera family. I was thinking about getting an another ZI8, then the Play Touch came out. And I thought to myself, well, I wouldn't mind getting one of them. But I thought, you know, I'll have to sort of save the cash up and then see about getting one. Well, I get contacted by my lovely friends at Kodak. And they say to me, as a thank you for the videos that I did with the pre-production Kodak PlaySport, they wanted to give me a Kodak PlayTouch pre-production model. And here it is. <laughs> so as a thanks, they have sent me a, a pre-production Kodak Playtouch. It's got a little bag. <laughs> and here she is. Oh yes, ums. And she's a beauty. So, I've been having a little play and I have been so impressed with it. I really like it. I think it's a great addition to my um, cameras. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is do my normal videos as well as do some videos to show you uh, the on-screen editing and the share button that's, that it's got as well as the extra effects that you get with it. Um, I think from what I've seen of it so far, and I've only been playing around with it for a little bit, I think that it is a uh, really good upgrade to the ZI8. So I'm going to do a 1080p comparison between the three cameras that I've got which is the Bloggy, the PlaySport and the PlayTouch to show you what the 1080p is like similar to the three video that I did with the Flip, the Bloggy and the PlaySport. Basically I'm going to put it for its paces and I'm going to show you all the stuff that it can do. I have been really impressed with this and if I had to buy this I would because I really like this colour. I think it's a really nice colour. Also, I think that it's a really good upgrade to the ZI8, um, and I think it's actually worth the extra money that you would pay. I mean, the bloggy is more than what the PlaySport is and what the other cameras are. But like I say, I've got to do the tests. I'll stick them up onto YouTube. Um, as far as the, the comparison between the three cameras, I'm gonna try and put that up in 1080p because I know some of you guys wanted me to do that with um, the test that I did with the Flip, the PlaySport and the Bloggy. I can actually upload it now in, in 720p and 1080p, so I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for loads more tests. Again, I've got to say, out of all the companies that I have dealt with, Kodak have been the best. The fact that they have given me this for the videos that I did with the PlaySport and the guy that, that is my contact in Kodak, he has just been absolutely excellent and I just got to keep saying that Kodak is an excellent company and they have treated me really well and I cannot stop saying how great they are. So again, thank you Kodak, thank you to my contact in Kodak, you have been great and I really appreciate it and so I'm going to put this through its paces, see how it fares. So far it's been doing really great and I'm really chuffed with it. So there you go. That's enough from me. I'm going to get on with the tests and stay tuned for some more um, samples from the Kodak PlayTouch. Okay then, that's enough from me. Bye bye. <music>